Okay then, so I'm sat here and I was about to speak about the qualifying for the Grand Prix that's happening today, the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa. And I was going to mention a few things that was being said as well about how like fake Max Verstappen is now trying to thank his team and stuff like that. That guy does not give a damn about the team. Everybody is replaceable to him. He thinks he is number one. He literally is just trying to take a leaf out of Lewis Hamilton's book. He's faking it to be nice because he's told to be nice because, because he's such an idiot. He has been told, Max, we know what you like, but we've, you've just got to change it a little bit. So just, th just say this about his thanking the team for staying up late and working hard on the car he really appreciates it no we don't man the guy don't appreciate nothing i'm not buying it right i'm annoyed right now i've just listened to fixed his last video he's tagged me in on it i've listened to it and i've got a few minutes in and he's played the martin brundle thing and when you hear it side by side it hits harder than it does when you're just watching it live because there's a space in between. And you just think, Martin Brundle, you are, what is it? Charlie Uniform November Tango, <laughs> as Fix would say. And that is bang on, man. And Fix said, I'm going to make it my business to ensure that this guy gets what he deserves, man. This Martin Brundle chap, he needs, <sighs> it ain't going to happen. Well, it can happen. But it ain't gonna happen anytime soon. But this guy needs to get gone. I'm telling you, it is shocking. When he's talking about Lewis Hamilton pushing the driving standards, and then when Max Verstappen flies up the inside so fast that he can't make the corner. What's his name? The other, the other one, the other, the other chap. What's his name? I can't even remember his name right now. But the other commentator, he's literally saying what he's seeing on screen. Like, what's Max Verstappen doing? And then. Martin Bundle's like, yeah, well, he came in with such speed that he had to keep the steering wheel straight. Hold on a minute. He came in with such speed. What about him pushing the, um, the driving standards? He doesn't say anything bad about this guy. How is this allowed, man? Why is nobody saying anything? And do, do you know what, as well? Let's get onto this one. This other, what's that other guy's name? I should have flipping wrote these things down so I'm not just guessing. Not guessing, but I'm not thinking while you're listening. It's probably annoying for you. But Peter Winsor he is an absolute Charlie uniform. What is it? Charlie <laughs> uniform November tango as well. I, I thought this guy spoke a lot of sense. But recently, he has fell from grace. And I'm not just saying that because he used to say like the right things about... Um, I'm, I'm messing up right now, big time. I don't care though. The, he used to say the right things about Abu Dhabi. But I knew what he was doing. He was doing that just because nobody else was really doing it on the kind of profile that he's got. He was like the highest up guy that was saying the truth about it. That didn't, that couldn't really get sacked because he ain't nowhere really. He isn't anywhere. Who can sack him? He's just sitting there on YouTube. He might be around the paddock. He might be taking some photographs. All he is is a journalist, really. As far as I'm aware, I might be wrong. But... He's got some weight behind him. So when he says it, it's like, check him out, man. Jeez. But he has, he has had a warning or something. Because the crap that he's been coming out with from Austria. When he said Max Verstappen didn't turn left. And you can literally see it on screen. Boy Tendio posted it. You can literally see the steering wheels turning left, man. Slightly. But that's all it takes when you're traveling at them kind of speeds. A little turn on the steering wheel. And do you know what I mean? Full lock is like not even one whole turn of the steering wheel in a Formula One car. So as soon as you turn a little bit, that's turning left, man. And you can literally see it. And this Peter Winsor is, is saying he didn't do it. And the last Grand Prix too is, ever since then, is talking complete nonsense. But forget that guy. It's just a YouTuber. Martin Brundle, he's on Sky Sports. And what's the plastic guy? The, the Scottish plastic guy. What's his name as well? David Coulthard. I can't believe I'm forgetting all these names right now. But still, because I, was, I wasn't ready to speak. I wasn't ready to speak. David Coulthard, he is worse than Martin Brundle. So I tell you what, I am 100% behind Fix, man. I am 100% with you. 
I will make it my business to bring these guys down. We need to serve them. I'm telling you, I said it before. I'm going to post this thing I posted up before about the um, confidence trick that Martin Bundle's pulling off and he's still doing it now. He did it big time in Abu Dhabi. You know when Lewis Hamilton was ripped off getting his eighth world title, making him the all-time world champion, the champion of all time. But forget all that. Martin Bundle was pulling off these confidence tricks on us. He's a trickster. He's a joker. He's having a laugh, man. Seriously, forget all these muppets that come to the channels talking a load of crap. They're the Max Verstappen fans. Forget all them. They're, forget them. No point in even speaking about them. Let them leave their stupid comments. But people like Martin Bundle, they need their comeuppance, man. We need to serve this guy. We need to tell him what he's doing, telling him he's breaking the law. You're not supposed to be doing these types of things. You're supposed to be an impartial commentator. Is this Sky Sports Red Bull or what? Is this Sky Sports Max Verstappen? Or is it Sky Sports F1? What is it? Don't lie to us. If it's Sky Sports F1, then speak about F1. If it's Sky Sports Red Bull, then you can do whatever you want. Do what you're doing if it's Sky Sports Red Bull. If it's Sky Sports Max Verstappen, fine. But if it isn't, then you shouldn't be acting like it is. Stop lying to us. Stop gaslighting people. Stop pulling off a confidence trick. I'm going to finish this right here right now. But I'm telling you what, man. I am 100%. We need to move this faster. Faster. We need to write something up and we need to serve these people. Get the frighteners on them. Take it legal because they have to respond, man. There is no, oh, I'm just going to ignore that. If you ignore it, then it's a default judgment or whatever it's called. And then they've automatically lost. I'll tell you what, forget being monetized. I will sue these guys, man. It's not on. Seriously, it's not on. So I don't even know if I'm going to watch this grumpy right now. I might, I'm, I'm going to go and do something else. I was sat. I thought, let me just, I mean, put the Formula One on, see what they're talking about right now. Let me see if I can speak about a few things while the TV's there in front of me. And I've sat down in front of my TV. It's a black screen still. I've just listened to the Fix thing because he's tagged me in on it. I thought, let me listen to what Fix is saying. As always, if you don't know, get over to Fix, man. He is doing some work. But Fixed, you need to move this fast talk. It's getting me, I'm getting annoyed now. Don't tag me in. Wind me up. <laughs> If you're going to tag me in so I can hear this stuff and wind me up, then we need to make moves, man. I'm telling you. Right, it's going to ruin my day. I'm sick of it. I'm, I am so sick of Martin Bundle. He needs warning. Put the frighteners on this guy. I don't know who he thinks he is, but he ain't above the law. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. That ain't a threat, Ivo. It's a promise. I promise you, Martin Bundle. If this continues... I promise you, I too will make it my business. I will drive down to wherever you are. I will serve you the papers. There is no like, oh, I didn't get that. It's not happening. It's not happening. Anyone that's surrounding you, any people you've got representing you, any like secretaries you've got or anything, you will get a letter. They'll get a letter. And I'm telling you, the law will stop you doing what you're doing. Because you are, you are an absolute Charlie uniform November tango. And if I've got to come and see you next Tuesday, then I will. <laughs> right, that's enough of this. I'm out of here.